So you didn't like the last leaked photo of the Panasonic S5 Mark II. Found it a little bit too blurry or even, shall I say, dare say, out of focus? Well, we've got a new leaked photo. This one shows a lot more detail and shows some very interesting characteristics. Details coming up, but first I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so that way you can stay up to date on the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. The first leaked image that we got earlier today of the Panasonic S5 Mark II was, well, out of focus, blurry, and it left doubt as to the authenticity. The reason being, it was heavily cropped from this image courtesy of How to Fly. We've got much better detail, and if you take a look up top, way up top, right here by the viewfinder, do you notice that vent? That's right, a vent. This camera must have some impressive capabilities that require active cooling. But does it require active cooling or could this be a passive cooling port? Well, either way, to have some sort of venting means this camera's gonna have some pretty serious capabilities, more so than the S5 Mark I, and kind of reminds me of a previous camera by Panasonic. You know the one I'm talking about, the S1H. It has active cooling because that camera does some pretty impressive stuff. To get the S5 Mark II to have active cooling tells me that Panasonic has got some pretty impressive capabilities for this camera to require active cooling, or at the very least, passive cooling. And I really do think it's gonna be active cooling. Why go ahead, create a vent, and not put a fan inside to help vent it, especially when they know how to do this, and they did this with the S1H. But there's one other bit of information that we got with this leak, the name of the camera. DC S5 M2X. DC, no surprises there. S5 for the Panasonic S5, M2 for the Mark II, but the X designator, what does this mean? Does this mean we're getting more than one model or is this just a way to set aside the Mark II as being extra, extra special for delivering better video capabilities and stills capabilities than the Mark I to not only get the Mark II designation, but an X as well? I don't know, I'm getting a sense that this is going to be an impressive camera and yes, we do have venting on the side. Well, at least that's what this port looks like to me with the name and of course this image, plus a rumor that came out several months ago that I kind of, well, I, I didn't believe it. I, I just kind of dismissed it. And do you recall it? The rumor had said that we're getting two cameras coming out by Panasonic in the next couple of months. One of them being an S5 Mark II and the other one being an S1 Mark II. But one thing really interesting, the S1 successor is gonna actually be less than the S5 successor. The S5 is gonna cost more than the current S1 and it's supposed to have much better video and stills capabilities. We've got what looks like a port on the side of this thing for active or passive cooling. We've got an X designator in the model number for the Mark II. And of course we have this previous rumor. I don't know, day by day with more that we hear from this camera, the more excited I'm getting about this. And all that aside, for it to have a phase detect autofocus system, I think it's gotta be one of the most important advancements, enhancements, not advancements, but enhancements in this camera. We don't know how well it is advanced over other autofocus systems by Sony and Canon. But if Panasonic is bringing us a truly reliable, trustworthy autofocus system, it's big news for you as somebody who's been buying Panasonic cameras for a long time because people have been slowly leaving Panasonic. This will pull them back. But more importantly, this will attract people from other platforms. People that were looking at leaving Canon because of the cost of third-party lenses and Canon coming down like a bag of wet hammers on the competition by enforcement of their IP, a lot of them have said, I'm going to Sony or Fuji. Well now, Panasonic Lumix is an option and this is a really big deal because bringing a really reliable, trustworthy autofocus system attracts people from outside of Lumix, from outside of Panasonic, not just previous owners that have moved on, but people from Sony that have grown tiring of the, well, incremental increases and not the huge increases of previous. People that are getting tired of Nikon waiting for the Z6 Mark III, the Z7 Mark III, the Z8, and people again, like I mentioned, that are frustrated by Canon. I'm truly getting excited by this camera, the S5 Mark II, not because of the technology that's gonna be in it, the enhancements. Panasonic understands video. They understand how to deliver waveforms, vector scopes, false colors, and a whole bunch of other tools and provide further enhancements and capabilities in firmware updates long after the cameras have been announced and released to the market. That's why I'm excited by Panasonic. I considered buying the GH5 many years ago, but being a one-man shooting, well, <laughs> studio, I, I just didn't wanna have to deal with setting up manual focus every time. I found it frustrating. 
I like the reliable autofocus system because when I set up this camera, I don't have to do anything. I don't need an app. I don't need nothing. It's reliable. It's trustworthy. It over 900 videos on this channel. And I've never had to use manual focus except when I'm doing product shots. But when I'm me in front of the camera, that's what's special about a really good reliable autofocus system. And that is what Panasonic is doing in their magic with this new camera, plus a whole bunch of other features. So I would, I would get excited by this new camera. I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to impress not just Panasonic owners, but Canon, Sony, and Nikon owners. Well, Pentex owners as well. I think they'll be excited by this camera. After all, they're still shooting with DSLRs. They're still making DSLR cameras. Not that there's, not that there's anything wrong with that. So what do you think? Are you getting excited by the thought of the Panasonic S5 Mark II about a new phase detect autofocus system and with a new image showing what looks like a venting port for a passive or active cooling system? Yeah, I'm getting really excited. And if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news and rumors regarding the Panasonic S5 Mark II or any other camera brand and model, then please punch that subscribe button followed by choosing all notifications. So that way, as soon as I publish a new video like this one here, you'll get notified by YouTube. So that way you can stay up to date on all the latest camera news and rumors. And if I stop tripping over my words, one last thing, uh, if you're looking at purchasing any camera gear or accessories, there's lots of Panasonic cameras on sale as well as Canon and Nikon, then please go ahead and use my affiliate links down below for Canon and Canon for b and and Amazon.com because I get anywhere from one to 4% back that helps this channel grow. I use it to buy new gear such as the R5, the R1, the R5 Mark II, and who knows, maybe even the S5 Mark II. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.